Hey everybody, this is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com and the bloodbath and crude oil for today is finally over. Absolutely insane from what happened. You see down here the gap it created uh, from Sunday night to when uh, the market finally opened down here in the US time. Dropped from around $41 before finally contracts started getting filled over here. It's getting it $34.92. Then came down here and um, in the kind of the money target area money box, uh, that's where it found the support from this move up here. So that right there, you can see it came up hit the 621.8 line. Didn't hit this retracement area, retracement area I looked for when I like to tra take this trade setup, but hit the 621.8, which is very valid. And then came down here and found its support down here in that box. Definitely could have gone lower, but for this particular one, at minimum, I look for it to hit this line right here. But it went down and hit the lower line as well. So that's where I found its support for it for it today. Now, I would like to see, <laughs> to be honest, I would like to see it go a little bit lower. And let me explain why here. Um, going out in you know, an even longer time frame to the weekly chart, you can see down here the low down here is around 2607 for it i would like to see it go break that slightly lower it's at 2734 was the current low for that one uh not just so it comes down and hit this I, I don't want to come down and hit this 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 low price of oil like this is not good for the global economy so you definitely want to see it rise back up not saying it has to go back in the hundreds again but definitely down here down in the 20s and 30s is uh definitely not good for an overall um global economy but anyways you have uh excuse me there is this setup to look at right about there yeah there is about the day this is going off the daily chart but another 70.6 setups came came up here hit the resistance zone so looking at this one right here the lowest it could go down to is between ten dollars about ten dollars and zero dollars for it not saying it is going to get hit but it is a valid trade setup and something to look out for if the market if the oil market does totally tank and go down there for that one but the reason why i'm looking for it to go down and break this low right here let me get rid of that dot this low right here is it has created an expanding triangle setup so if you have going down because i always look going down trying to take the lows okay so you have first second third fourth so if this comes down here and it completes this setup right here, this would be the fifth point. It would complete that short setup, and then we could definitely see some movements back up to the upside. So we have that, 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 one, two, three, four. So I do think there is a good chance price does go lower and um, break the low down there. How low? How low will it go? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. I don't, obviously, I don't know. I mean, if we use this swing high up here, taking it down there, you're looking at the target. If this is going to go down all the way to target, you can see it hit the 61.8 level perfectly off of it. Um, the target is down there about three dollars and sixty three cents uh, Obviously, it doesn't have to go down there and fill it for this setup That is the exit I do look for in the setup, but it doesn't have to and golly if it goes down three dollars a barrel That'd be absolutely crazier than today, which I didn't think would be possible but um, I do think there could be a little more downside just to break this low get that fifth point of the setup done and then you can start looking for perhaps some type of recovery. I mean, right now, yeah, it is up, um, you know, over about six and a half percent for it. But from what happened today, that is that is absolutely nothing. And you do expect a little bit of recovery after all the selling that was going down over it. So we do have this gap right here. So definitely looking forward to that to get filled here in um, eventually, uh, because I mean, something that big isn't going to stay open um, that long. But anyways, let's go look at today real quick for I quit rambling over here. Uh, today really wasn't whole lot going on for it. This is just using the five minute charts for it. The black lines up here are the previous day high and low. There's previous day high, oh, excuse me, previous day low, and then previous day high way up here. And then open up today, previous day high, previous day low right there. So the setup we do have right now, we do have an expanding triangle setup. It, it already has um, moved away from uh, where I'd be looking to get in for it, but I would not be taking any longs right here. Anyways, you can see the uh, big uh, purple tint box with the yellow lines that is just for the target air from that move I mentioned earlier and so what we have using this swing low down here all the way up to, down to that swing high here you can see where my target entry box would be the support level 
there's that, 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 just to make sure to, to signify to myself this would be in the support level right there. And then we're looking for the target exit from this move. There is the target exit box right there. Let me draw the yellow line on it. There we go. So if this one does come up and get completed, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to go you go up there and complete it, but I do think after I just all the selling that happened today, there's a good chance it goes up to. Looking at about $36.37. And then you have that um, the gap over here, about $41.06. So if it does come up over here and starts uh, filling that gap some more, then definitely look forward to go higher and fill it up here eventually to get um, 4108 before any more uh, selling pressure starts coming in. So that's what we're looking for right now. That's the main setup going on for right now. It's expanding triangle. There's the first point, there's the second point, third point, fourth point. So when it hits the fourth point and it hits down into these levels right here, it provides a very good buying opportunity. The reversal for the selling opportunity is going the other way. And so using those two things, it is a pretty good setup and the risk reward is extremely good because the entries I like to get at are the 78.6 and the 88.6. And then my exit is slightly below the 100% level down over here for, for it. And then typically my exits are going to be um, sometimes right underneath the 1.272 Fibonacci extension level and sometimes even just halfway between the zero push and, and the um, 1.272 uh, extension level. So that's something trading that one. Uh, it, it, as you can see, it already has bounced stuff off, off of this and it looks like it is um, going up some more for it. So uh, I do think tentatively, at least in the very short term, the next day or so, look for some support here in the market. I do want to show, and last, yesterday I talked about um, Exxon here real quick and I did go and buy more like I said was yesterday if the thing went down even more and it went down all the way to $41 I think today when I bought I bought it around $43 but it ended up going down lower even more let me go up to the weekly chart because as I mentioned uh, yesterday this is definitely going to be a long term hold for me so as you can see we have an expanding triangle first point second point third point fourth point broke that low right there there's the fourth point. So what we're looking for is price to go all the way somewhere back up here, going and create the fifth point for it. So what we have is the fourth point, plus we have the uh, support box, the 78.6 and 8.6 level, where price seemed to found <laughs> maybe some support. We'll see what happens tomorrow when the market opens. Um, but uh, even if price does go back and break the 100% right here, I'm not getting out of it. This is going to be a very long-term hold for it. It's not my typical uh, futures trade uh, or, for, or forex trade that I that, that I also trade. Uh, this is going to be a definite long-term hold. The only thing that would change for me if it does go down here and break this pivot point low right here, let me put a little circle on it just to magnify it a little bit more. If it does go down there and break that low at about 29.74 then I wouldn't necessarily be looking for the exit to come all the way back up here. You know, make it out somewhere closer, $75, $80 level, something like that. But just have to wait and see, see what is going to go, um, see what's going to go on. But as of right now, it's provided a very, very, very nice setup for the, probably the strongest, uh, or definitely the strongest oil and gas company in the world. So um, that's what I'm getting in, plus dividend yield of 7% makes it a no-brainer for me for a long-term hold. Um, but basically everything out there in the oil field today, I mean, it's just getting destroyed. Look at ConocoPhillips today. They also had a huge drop off. They provide um, a similar setup for it. One, two, three, four. There's the fourth one right there. You see it I had already at once bounced off of it. Never went up there, broke this high and created the fifth point for it. Had just been going down um, ever since and now has found support down here for the time being at the 88.6 level. Uh, I do own ConocoPhillips, but is in a uh, drip account, direct reinvestment thing. So I just put some money in there and forget it. Probably should be doing Exxon instead of this, but it is what it is. And um, so definitely looking for it eventually, um, you know, price come up in the 60s again for it. So those are two, um, in my personal opinion, I like Exxon better than ConocoPhillips. Um, which is why I'm buying more of the, more of the um, Exxon stock for it. But anyways, that is oil for today, at least for the time being. It looks like the bloodbath is over. Tomorrow there could be some type of bounce going out, out on, excuse me, is going on to get it up. And the target we'd be looking for in the next um, one to two, maybe rest of the week, will be up here about $36.37 from this trade setup right here. So anyways, this is Evan Carthy from evancarthy.com. Take care. Bye.